cinema, the ultimate art. The art that incorporates all other arts to itself. From its very beginnings, cinema has been a collaborative form of storytelling. A language born from light, shadow, movement and sound. A collective dream made possible by directors, writers, actors, set designers, editors, sound engineers, and countless other craftspeople. But what happens when all these roles can be performed by one person and one machine? We are standing at the edge of a technological revolution that could redefine cinema as we know it. Artificial intelligence is no longer a distant concept reserved for sci-fi plots. It's not some abstract idea floating in the future. It's here. Now, learning, evolving, creating, and most importantly, reshaping every creative industry it touches. Today, AI can already write short stories, compose symphonies, paint portraits, and mimic voices. It can color grade film footage, it can create ultra-realistic faces of people who do not exist. And it's just getting started. In cinema, AI started as a tool, a helper, a time saver, a smart assistant. But tools evolve. Cameras got smarter. Editing got faster. Visual effects became limitless. And now AI has the potential to be more than just a tool. It can be a creator, a storyteller, a director, a collaborator, or a competitor. Let's imagine a scenario. You wake up with an idea for a film. You open your device. You type in a few lines. A lonely robot in a post-apocalyptic world finds a single surviving flower. And within minutes, your device generates a high-quality short film with voice acting, music, cinematography, editing, sound design, rendered, scored, completed, from a single prompt. This is not science fiction anymore. Startups and tech giants alike are racing toward this future. Companies are already training AI to simulate actors' performances, mimic directorial styles, and generate entire scenes from scratch. Text-to-video models are in early stages, but they evolve every week. What once took a team of 50 people over months might soon be the result of one person and a powerful prompt. And this is where the real questions begin. What does this mean for artists? What does this mean for the very soul of cinema? The filmmaker, as we know them, might transform into something new. The one-man filmmaker, a hybrid of writer, coder, director, and visual architect, will emerge. They won't need permission from a studio. They won't need a million dollar budget. They will need only an idea and access to the right AI tools. This future democratizes filmmaking. It hands the power of storytelling to anyone with a voice and a vision. It breaks down barriers. For marginalized communities, this could mean unprecedented representation. For independent creators, it's a chance to compete with Hollywood. But there is a darker side. Because when everything becomes easier, cheaper, faster, something also gets lost. The slow magic of collaboration. The human imperfections that give art its soul. The happy accidents that arise from real-life interaction on a chaotic set. And then, there's the question of jobs. If A, I can write a screenplay, who needs screenwriters? If it can synthesize a human face, who needs actors? If it can edit, color grade, mix sound and score music, who's left in the crew? Cinematographers, composers, costume designers, gone, or at least redefined. We could see an entire generation of professionals displaced. The Writers Guild has already begun fighting back. Actors fear that AI will replace their likeness, replicate their performances, and use them without consent. Unions are rewriting contracts to protect creative labor from automation. Because this isn't just about technology, it's about human value. What is the worth of a performance if it's not performed by a human being? 
What is the value of a story if it's not born from lived experience? Let's not forget the legal minefield ahead. Who owns an AI-generated film? The prompt engineer? The developer of the software? The company that trained the model? And what if the model used thousands of copyrighted works to train itself without permission? Is the AI plagiarizing or is it remixing? These questions remain unanswered, and the courts are only beginning to catch up. And yet, for all the fears, AI also brings new creative frontiers. Directors might collaborate with AI to visualize their ideas before they shoot. Writers might use it as a brainstorming partner. Animators might speed up their workflow. Musicians might create scores in minutes. AI doesn't have to replace artists, it can amplify them. But this requires intention, it requires ethics, oversight, dialogue. Without it, we risk flooding the world with content that is technically impressive, but emotionally empty. We risk losing the soul of storytelling. Because cinema, at its core, is about humanity. It's about flaws, nuance, perspective, emotion. It's about real people telling real stories to other people. Machines can simulate this, but can they feel it? And perhaps that's where we draw the line. Not in what AI can do, but in what we choose to let it do. Do we want cinema to be efficient or meaningful? Do we want a flood of content or a few unforgettable films? The coming years will be a test a test of our values, a test of our creativity, a test of how we coexist with technology. Will we use AI to tell better stories, or will we let it tell stories for us? Will it empower the artist, or erase them? Cinema is not dying. Cinema is changing. And like every great transformation, it brings both promise and peril. But one thing is certain. The movies of tomorrow will not be made the way they were yesterday. The tools will change. The processes will evolve. But the need for powerful, honest storytelling will remain. The future of film is unwritten. And maybe, just maybe, it's up to us to write the prompt.